Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create lookups in Microsoft Access 2016. So, creating a lookup in Microsoft Access can improve the data efficiency, the data entry efficiency for any employee. What you mean by that, that let's say for an example that uh, we have a field, a particular field in which we have to make some entry. Let's say that it must be a yes or no or a maybe. So what will I do? I will create a drop down list for the same. Now this slide says, says the same thing that the lookup field displays the data as a drop down list so that the user can select the desired value from the list. Okay, so this is how we can we are going to learn how to create this drop down menu in Microsoft Access. This drop down menu in Microsoft Access is known as a lookup field. Alright, now if you go on the next uh, slide, you can see that this is the step to create a lookup field. So we'll go through step one by one. Now the first step is launch the lookup wizard to create a lookup wizard for a particular field. So I'll launch the lookup lookup wizard. The next thing it is asking you choose how the lookup field will get its value. So basically we can create our own uh, drop down menu or we can create the drop down menu from a different table. So my next step will be whether you want to create your own value or you want to choose the value from a different table. The third step it is saying that choose the fields to display the uh, record in the lookup field. So what it says that it will ask you what is the drop down menu? What is the options that you want in the drop down menu? You have to choose that. So that will be my third step while creating a lookup. The fourth step it is asking me choose a label for a lookup field. So whenever you create a lookup field, you need to give it a label. So it will ask you to give a label or give a specific name to that particular lookup field. And next uh, step is saying that you have to save the table and last step if you can see you have to go under the data sheet view and you have to go to that particular field and you can see the drop down menu and you can see your desired values. We'll get to know about more about how to create a lookup field in our practical approach. Now let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so I have pulled out this particular table that is a customer table from the navigation pane. Alright, so you can see all these tables out here. From here I have pulled out the customer table. Simply double click and I have the customer table ready with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a lookup field for the same. So I'll move on the extreme right side of my screen. Now in our previous video, we have already learned how to create a lookup field by defining my own choices. That is, uh, I want to uh, have yes, no or maybe field. That's right. Now this time we are going to create a lookup field with the help of a different table. We are going to relate the two tables and get the lookup field from a different table altogether. So in order to do that, I will need to go to the design view and under the design view, I'll simply click on design view and let's say that I have all these fields, but also I would like to see the products, right? So I'm using the uh, products. I'm introducing a new field that is a products field and under this drop down menu, I'll go to the lookup wizard, right? From this lookup wizard, I will say that I want to the lookup field to get the values from a, another table or another query. So I will select the first option. I simply hit next. Now it is asking me from where you want that order uh, the product table to get from. Uh, I say I want this table as my reference. I simply hit next. Now out here I can see the product name, right? If you go here, these are the different field that is available in that table. So this is the field which I'll be requiring. So I'll simply take this field, hit next. Now it is asking me what should be, it should be aligned to, it should be aligned to the product name, right? So I simply hit next and the next thing it is showing me the different product that we have out here. Okay, these are the products which I'll be needing. Simply hit next. Now it is asking me what you'd like to label the lookup field. Yes, it should be named as products and I simply hit finish. Now you must save the relationship saved before relationship is created. Yes, I would like to save this. So I have saved this now. Now let's go and see under the data sheet view whether the following changes has been done or not. So uh, I will simply click on data sheet view. Now I will move on the extreme right side of my screen. Now out here I have this products field. Now if you click on this drop down menu, I can see all these options. So these are my different products out here. So guys, this is how you can create a lookup field in Microsoft Access 2016.